Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and today we're going to be starting a series on Post CSS. Now, Post CSS is a way to further extend your already amazing capabilities with the use of other preprocessors, or you can use it without any sort of preprocessors at all and process your CSS with just Post CSS. Now, you may be wondering why do we need another one of these additions to CSS? You know, SAS makes my life easier, or Stylus makes my life easier. What could post CSS possibly do to help me? Well, post CSS is really just a wrapper to all sorts of additional CSS type plugins, types that look at your CSS and output things accordingly. But the best part about post CSS is just about how transparent it is. For instance, with the auto prefixer post CSS plugin, you can just type your CSS and forget that browser prefixes even exist. Now, Post CSS is just going to see your property and add the prefixes for you, but no use of any things like mixins or functions or anything additional, no additional markup. It just looks like you're writing CSS. Because of things like Post CSS and Auto Prefixer, I've entirely stopped using packages like Compass. And the best part about Post CSS is that you can use it with your CSS preprocessors that you're used to if you would like. So let's get starting on learning post CSS and how you can add it into your workflow right now. 